Hello and happy Freedom Friday to all of my cancers. This video is for the 11th of August through the 11th of September. This is a general reading, cancers. So take only what resonates with you. I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your birth chart, cancers. Um, this is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description. Let's go, cancers. Let's go. Even if you're on the cusp, I am talking to you. King of Pentacles, wealthiest card in the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles and also the Five of Wands. Yes, Cancers, Cancers, Cancers. Ka-ching, ka-ching, and ka-ching. We have the King of Pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. This is a person who is at the top of their finances, right? We also have the, um, the uh, very wise when it comes to your finances. We have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm seeing legacy wealth. You and your person creating legacy wealth together. We have the Five of Pentacles here. So I see somebody, you know, it may be some kind of emotional wounding, having to leave some energies alone, you know, leave some energies outside of your vault door. But guess what? Nevertheless, I see you walking through. The number 11 is a master number. So whenever you see the number 11 in any form, 11, 11, series of ones, the number 11, source is saying to you, that's a wake up call for you to listen to your higher self. Pay attention to the messages. That number 11 symbolizes light. Source is saying you don't have to give a whole lot of th a thought to something. Somebody could be relocating or moving, going somewhere. You don't have to give a whole lot of thought to it. You're just leaving some energies behind. It could be two energies in particular that's connected to family, whether they're blood relatives or whether you want to marry somebody and be family or, fa you know, uh, or friends that's like family, something having to do with family is not going through that vault door with you so that you can connect with other energies who know what their purpose is here on earth. They're not on the wrong side of the, they're not on the unaligned side of the number eight. Remember we talked about the unaligned side of the number eight are people who are forceful, materialistic, and egotistical, or they have succumbed to powerless and, and passive behavior, right? So there's a puppeteer and there's a puppet, right? Or puppeteers and puppets. Um, versus the, the aligned side of the number eight. And eight is the money exchange number. People who have a clear vision for their lives. They know they have a gift, talent, gifts and talents, God-given gifts and talents, along with they're not ashamed of their past life experiences. So they're using those experiences to better mankind, thus creating an infinite amount of resources, right? Got it? So there's energies that will try to um, try to warm up to you. And when they don't get what they want, they'll burn you again and again and again and again, burn you out, leave you. When I say burn, it's not, it's not always blowtorch burn. Sometimes it's leaving you in a state of confusion. It's sometimes it feels like, you know, you feel low self-esteem, like you're not good enough, or you're dealing with an energy that's very narcissistic. Like I said, you're dealing with puppets and puppeteers. They're on the wrong side of the number eight, right? But guess what? Your reputation is still intact. You multiply every space you walk into. People still see you as an asset, uh, not as a liability. Okay, Cancer? So that's what I'm seeing for you all. So like I said, somebody get prepared to be extremely wealthy because, again, it's just some energies you had to leave behind. Somebody, it, it's been real hard for somebody to, to, like, really come to terms with, I got to leave some energies behind. I got to leave some energies behind, right? So, um and it could be children. It could see these children in this card. It could be somebody's, um, you know, somebody who has children that you're leaving behind. Because again, just the attachment to something, right? Somebody, somebody, it could be, it could be a family member and it could be a person and their kids you're leaving behind. Again, that may be hard for somebody because again, obviously you all are the mother of the Zodiac. The moon is moving. If you're watching this video on Thursday, the moon is in Gemini moving into cancer. And so you all are cancers if you're ruled by the moon. So that's like double need for the, your primary concern is security. And so there's a deep um, instinct to nurture and protect yourself and others. And so when there's kids involved, it can be real tricky because whether, whether they are your adult kids or somebody else's kids or, uh, you know, you know, in-laws and the kid you're married to or some, something having to do with family sources saying to you, you're going to have to put your need for security first cancer. 
You're going to have to make sure your water is clean first. This is where you're going to have to learn how to put yourself first. Because otherwise, continuing to pour out all your water to energies that are emotionally wounding you, that's toxic water. Imagine wounds being in emotion. We talk about emotion is water, right? And so when we talk about the moon, we're talking about instinct, protection, physical and mental protection, right? The need for your spirit to be fed, your intuition being extremely heightened about things, cyclical energy or cyclical energy, you know, um, feminine energy. We're talking about nature. We're talking about rhythms and rituals. So you've seen a rhythm to this. You've seen somebody just like when people need something, all of a sudden they warm up to you. And guess what? You feel left out again. You feel left out in the cold again. You feel unsure, uncertain about what's going on in their world, right? Somebody is tired. Somebody is really just like, I'm just so done with all of that. So um, here we have the, the sun card. We have the four of swords. We have the seven of swords, the six of swords coexist, and also the four of wands. See, somebody wants you to coexist with something, but I'm telling you, Cancer, as sure as I'm sitting here pulling these cards, somebody is so done. They're not trying to coexist with anything except the other planetary alignments in their universe. The closer and closer you, this, this is the sun and these are your planets, right? That you being in your sunlight, meaning your purpose in your number eight is aligned. You can see exactly what these energies are for. They're the ones that's causing the emotional wounding. You're like, oh, nah, I'm coming through and I'm cutting everybody off. I'm turning off the water faucet. <laughs> I have no emotions attached to it. People can think that you're cruel and cold or whatever. But these two swords right here, somebody's like, I'm going I'm to cut off the overthinking and I'm about to take some action. I'm about to cut off the overthinking. See, somebody has already picked up all of this swords, meaning that I'm taking my power back, taking my intellect back. And these two swords right here has been the things that's been in the way for somebody. Those two things that somebody is just like, okay, I'm not sure if I need to cut them off or do I need to move on from that or what do I need to do? So it says, just get your rest. That disappointment, here's the number six, that disappointment and just how you may have been treated, that emotional wounding is why somebody was just disappointed, head hung. But guess what? There's some movement. You're taking some action. You may be disappointed like, wow, you know, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. I thought people were smarter than that. But I guess it's not. I guess that's not the case. So the disappointment, if your number seven is out of alignment, you'll get frustrated. How come people aren't catching on? How come they don't see this? I've been trying to tell them. I've been trying to. But if when it's aligned, you just know. You're just like, okay, source has pieced it all together for me. It's like I guess like I got struck by lightning and all of a sudden I got this newfound wisdom, the wisdom of God. Seven is, you know, people say seven is the God number, but zero is actually the God number. But that's a whole nother reading. Anyway, so source is saying somebody's gonna feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulders and somebody is meeting a new and exuberant love. So like I said, I mean, still fulfilled as having the legacy wealth with you and your person. It just not, I mean, it may not be with, like I said, certain people it may not be with certain people. So take only what resonates with you, right? So if you know that you're, you are currently in a, in a, an exuberant relationship and you know, that's a healthy relationship, obviously I'm not talking to you, but if, if, um, and, and I'm, like I said, it could be family. You, somebody could be single and still, you know, be happily single and say, I just feel like a huge weight has been lifted because I'm going through that vault door without these energies. Because all they can see is money. All they can see me as, as security and stability. They can see my tenacity. They can see my patience. I'm rich in patience. I'm rich in tenacity. I'm wealthy in, you know, career success. I'm wealthy. That's all they can see is the wealth all over me. And they just want to get through that vault door to benefit from that wealth, Right. So source is saying it, it's some things about to be shaking up cancer. <laughs> Whoa, child, you about to shake some stuff up cancer. You talking about coming in and shaking a table. <laughs> I love it. Whoa, cancers. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. So somebody's just tired of the nightmare. Somebody is sick and tired of the nightmare. Somebody is so ready to detach. It's not, even, <laughs> it's not even funny. It really isn't funny. Somebody's like, oh my God, let me just see how this person has their hand on their head. They're like, oh my God, I need some rest. This is just too much, right? I've already been hurt enough in the past. I'm not interested in being hurt again. So that's why this right here says everything is fine. So it's like everything is fine. You don't even have to be extra dramatic about it. Wake up from the nightmare. Source is like, you don't have to be extra dramatic about this. It's two energies in particular that source is like, they got to go. They stay, in, they stay in connected to you for the security and the stability. One is a puppet and one is the puppeteer. It doesn't really matter what, who is what. All you know is that I'm moving on from that. 
So one feels helpless and one may be helpless because, you know, like I said, but one, one knows exactly they're the master. They're the one that's just, you know, like I said, the puppeteer, they just, you know, pulling the strings. Mm -mm -mm. And for you, it's just been like, a, like I said, a nightmare, but source is saying everything is fine. Somebody's going to have some new inspiration to move on. And that new inspiration, which is interesting about this, some youthful ins inspiration, the new, the, the thing about in the, uh, inspiration could be a new love, but it can also be a person cussing you out, right? Something is going to inspire somebody to move on right from this. So the new love can say, you know what? This feels great. I, I, I'm in. I'm loving the space that I'm in. I don't have time for all of the the confusion and chaos and all of that. Or it could be somebody like literally blow torching you to a point of cussing you out, going off, making up stuff, all kind. Of, you like you know what? I'm done. I'm 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 just I'm tired of burnout because somebody is battling their demons. Here we have the five of wands, and so now that when you see people battling their demons up close and personal, it really is sad because. You know, too, and this is where the compassion comes in. You know, at some point you were battling your demons of state over, over nurturing situations where source told you to leave a long time ago, right? And so whatever their demons are, whether it's fear, doubt, there's too many demons to name. Uncertainty is also a demon. It could be some kind of an addiction that's a demon, whatever. But when you see it up close and personal, it's the, it's almost like, you know, the window, the eyes are the window to the soul. It's almost like you can see that their spirit is trapped by their flesh. And it's, it's sad. It's, it's, a, it's pitiful, you know? And so when a person breaks down and start crying, you just like, oh my God. So if you've shed tears, your tears have been for you to say, your tears have been telling you, I don't have to be trapped in this situation. I'm free. So I see somebody feeling happy, charismatic, and free because I'm telling you, you see that thing up close and personal and you see the shape shifting and the sadness in people's eyes. Oh my God. And, and so that's what I'm seeing for you all, Cancers. That's what I'm seeing for you all. But there's still, like I said, a lot of compassion. That moon and um, the moon and, um, and, and Cancer that we're going to all experience on Friday, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of closings. It's going to be a lot of, you know, cycles closing because some people are crazy enough to really, and, I, and let me just... I don't mean crazy in a mental health way. Let me just say this. I'm, I'm very sensitive to mental health on my channel. But people are delusional. Let's use that word. People are delusional enough to think that you're going to coexist with energies that are using you as a cash cow or a, a form of security, stability, tenacity, uh, career success, um, uh, whatever. But source will keep you right in front of your vault door until you shake some energies right in front of your vault door. Here we have the wheel of fortune. So source is saying to you, look at things from an expanded view because this is still your year. You know, even if your year starts at eight and goes all the way to the next eight, right? The next 12 months, like from August to August, when I say eight, so I don't want to confuse anybody. So source is saying, let this be the beginning of an amazing life. When you're walking through that vault door and saying, now that I'm on the other side of this vault door, I see things crystal clear. Now I didn't have to deal with half of the stuff that I dealt with you know, in the past. So source is saying, this is still your year. You don't have to coexist with madness. You don't have to coexist with people who are, you know, who are, um, battling their demons to a point where, um, to a point where it's actually dragging you into their own Hades or hell. You don't have to do that. That's an option. Here we have the sun card, the six of wands, the nine of wands, see the nine of wands, the three of coins, and also the nine of cups. Yeah, the sun card came out twice. It's two energies where you see right through it. Like you literally, it's like, oh my God, if it wasn't clear before, it's so clear now because I'm in my purpose and source is sending all this information to me. I'm looking at things from an expanded view. That's why sometimes when people say certain things and you're looking at them like literally like they're a cyclops, like is what? Like you just, it's, it's almost like you're just speechless. I can't even believe that came out of some people's mind. You you want me to coexist with what? Oh, nah. Mm-mm. 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 Nope. <laughs> so here we have the three of coins. So I do see somebody in the perfect job for themselves, you know, like the perfect job, perfect physician. Sources where you're leading, where you, you are respected as a leader. Whether you work for yourself or you work for a company organization or something like that, source is saying everything is perfectly aligned for you in terms of your money. So it's going to feel like for somebody things are just going happy. I mean, going good for you, like your business is doing good because you release some things, like just the 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 mental and the the physical and the emotional baggage. Somebody has released it. 
Um, and so here we have the six of wands. So I see you victoriously moving through that door, moving through that door. Here we have the nine of cups. I'm saying wish fulfillment for you. So when I say somebody's going to feel like they hit the jackpot because you've released some things, that's what it's going to feel like for somebody. And here we have the nine of wands. Somebody has really been through it. I mean, like literally wiping the sweat off their brow, been through it. So if you found yourself sweating and you haven't been eating spicy food or you're not in a hot climate, if you're an air conditioner and you're still sweating, sources say that's your body detox and releasing all of that, that stress out of your body. Like, but also physically, you got to take some kind of action. So if you've been burned out with all of this fire here, Source is saying you don't have to be burned out for another moment. Just take some kind of action. That's what Source has been trying to tell somebody. Take some kind of action. You don't have to be burned out in a situation. But it's two energies in particular that's like just staying connected to you for something, for what they can get. And so it, it could be two energies at first, but it's also people that are connected to them. Source is saying to you, all of them will burn you out. One minute they're warming up to you. Oh, you the you you just amazing person. See this? You got the five of wands twice, right? And you also have um yeah, you got the five of wands twice. You got the sun card twice. You can see when I say you can see right through it. It's like somebody like this like a clear day. The the sun the clear day sunny skies. You can see things that you would not see at night, right? So source is saying it, this is not something you just felt emotionally, even though that the sun illuminates the moon. So. You could see through their emotions, the, the, the codependency and all this other stuff. You can see through all of that. But now you can see it through a different lens because you're operating in your purpose. That different lens. You see things clearly. Clearly as that sun is shining outside, wherever you are in the world. Clear as that sun is shining. Here we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Devil card. Yep, the Justice card. The Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and also the Seven of Swords. So this justice card is about balance, right? So this is where a balanced life looks like. It's attached to Libra. When the moon was in Libra, the questions were really centered around being a peaceful warrior, like fighting for your peace, right? Your peace of mind, both in your personal and your professional life. And so Source has been sending a lot of information to somebody about living a better life without carrying other people's baggage, right? So I do see victory here. This is, it came out twice. I see you victoriously slaying your demons of fear. I could I need more than two hands. Fear, doubt, uncertainty, and all of that. I see you slaying your own demons, right? And um, here we have the seven of swords. And so I do see somebody envisioning their lives without the heaviness of carrying other people's demons and trying to work through it. Sometimes, you, you know, sometimes people want to, you know, do a, like a case study, right? And unless that's your job, you don't need to do a case study. All you need to know is that you can see right through something right now. And that is not going through that vault door with you. Here we have the queen of wands. So you have to decide when. You have to decide how long am I going to sit outside my vault door feeling emotionally wounded and confused, wringing my hands, trying to figure out, you know, what is it? What is it? What is it? And source keeps showing you clearly right in your face that it's energies. You're trying to people have a different agenda. So somebody may not look at you and have walking around with a gold digger T-shirt on, which is not gender specific, by the way. People may not walk around with that like I'm, I see you as a cash cow or I see you as a way in or I see you as security or I see you as people will even tell you that you're a good person, which you should already know that cancer. But they'll tell you as a good person as the way to manipulate you to stay in situations that you you should have left a long time ago. Guess what? You already did the mirror magic when you looked at the mirror, the mirror work. You've already looked in the, the mirror and said, hey, listen, you're a great person. I got a good person staring back at me. So them telling you that you're a good person to manipulate you to walk inside your vault door should carry zero weight. Here we have the, um, the, the Queen of Wands. And so I see somebody feeling happier, more charismatic and free. Now that you've moved on from some things, it came out twice. Like, whew, I feel like a huge weight has been lifted. God, thank you. For real. <laughs> Ooh, and trust me, because people are battling their demons. Guess what they're going to call you, Cancer? A demon. They're going to call you a demon. But guess what? You've been delivered from people's opinions, so you don't care what they call you. They can call you everything but the child of God, and it wouldn't matter. You're just so happy that you're away from certain energies. Like I said, surrender. Source is saying surrender. 41 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Source is saying to you, this is a great time for you to surrender to source. This is a pivotal point in your life. There's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go, of setting yourself free of all that doesn't serve you. 
this person has a lot of um a lot of fly you know that's not really fly it's like a you know something that has come out of the cocoon right this is this is you this is a turning point and see how this person is not looking back this person is like i'm not looking back <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm about to run with this yellow dress on. And that yellow is your solar plexus chakra, that color of the, yellow, the solar plexus chakra. So this is a willful act. Somebody is willfully saying, I need to get as far away from that energy as I possibly can. Matter of fact, I'm running away from that, right? Not, not running in fear, but I'm saying this is a willful. I'm getting as far away from that as possible. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Let's pull a number card and let's close it out. Let's pull a number card and let's close it out. Very nice, Cancers. Very, very nice. 24, I am generous, right? So you have a heart of gold, Cancer, and you're very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and you're able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. 24, 2 plus 4 is 6. So somebody is saying, I'm moving into this rebirth on purpose, intentionally, uh, protecting my peace, my peace of mind. If you're if you're if you're a puppet or a puppeteer, doesn't matter which side of that you're on. You're on the wrong side of the number eight. You're unaligned. I'm aligned. I know exactly what my life is supposed to look like. I know that I'm gifted and talented. I know I have a good product and service that's going to better mankind. And you don't. That's all I need to know. Here we have strength. Affirmations for strength. All obstacles in my path are being cleared. I am stronger than yesterday. I am brave. I am courageous. I learn from my mistakes. Failure is a farce. All effort is testing. I rise above all that stands in my way. Improvement is my only concern. That's it. That's what I have for you, Cancers. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you all on Sunday. Bye.